Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am here at the water temple and I am currently fighting the water bad guy, boss guy. Um, and he is a little bit adorable, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I mean, you know, when he's not like a evil sludge shark, he's kind of cute. A little octopus guy. No. Oh. Oopsie. Well, I mean, I, I guess I keep saving my own life unintentionally, but it's really not what I'm trying to do here. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I already plan on it, bud. I just need this guy to take a chill pill for five seconds. And Sure didn't. Okay, you know what? How about if right now, for the moment, I put this because you can shoot things in water, right? So yeah, did that get him if I shoot things in water at him? There we go. Now let's switch to a different weapon with a little bit more force. And kick this little guy's butt. Just a little tiny bit. Okay. Can we just get over here? Oh! Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. This is not... Not an ideal situation. Where is he? Can I put water at him? No, oh, okay. He'll just kill me. Alrighty. I have a feeling that this guy's gonna take a while because I'm not doing the greatest with him. I don't remember to jump over all of his sludge. It's alright though. Third time's the charm, maybe? Okay, so we're gonna use this weapon. We are going to make sure that we have eaten some food. We're gonna get some cold weather resistance that we genuinely don't need just because I accidentally almost died. And quite frankly, I'm a little bit sick and tired of accidentally almost dying. Okay. Okay, okay you know what? One more try. One second, guys. Okay. Gonna do that. Make sure that we have a decent weapon. And Oh. 
Okay. Cold resistance potion? Why would I say such a stupid thing? And then you need to give me your stupid water attack. Maybe I should just use the uh, opal stick thing. I feel like that was uh, that was working out way better for me than anything else that I've done so far, right? So how about if instead of eating cold resistance, I just eat a couple of crabs and then switch over and use this thing because it seems to Best because it's shooting water at him. Oh, it's not even shooting water anymore. That's cool. Okay. Okay, guys, I got him to halfway. And I have a really good, like, routine going. So let's hope that, uh... Let's hope that I can keep it up. Get away. I only want the water guy. The problem with this guy is that he takes off. It's very, very hard to catch once he does that. And then I can't, I can't do anything. Like, can't hit him because he, he takes off, you know, and it's, it's very frustrating.
my cherished king. That voice again. You're the one we've been hearing this whole time. Indeed. I am your ancestor from a time long past. I served a persecutor of Hyrule as a Zora warrior and a sage who, like you, could direct the flow of water. You are the pride of the Zora. Your fluid, graceful movements as you fight. I would expect nothing less than my descendant. He arrested the monster that sold our domain, but it was a servant of the greater evil, the demon king. His true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining the stone that you just found. My secret stone. The stone that you are wearing? Yes. And it is important you know more about the stone than the demon king. So listen closely to what I have to say. It concerns the imprisoning war and the destiny of our people. Though we Zora live long lives, this all happened in a time ancient living to us, when the kingdom of Ayu was still in its infancy. Evil, the demon king appeared. He invaded Hyrule and sought to cut the new kingdom's time short. But the Thrawn, for the first king of Hyrule, brought me and five other warriors together to oppose him. To fight the demon king, Ron entrusted us with secret stones. Sage of Water, I bore a secret stone and fought alongside my fellow sages in battle. However, the Demon King's power was overwhelming. Even my strongest defenses could not stop his ferocious attacks. In the end, our leader realized it would not be possible to defeat the Demon King outright. He chose to end the battle by sealing the demon king away, sacrificing himself in the process. So that was the imprisoning war. Some time later, another of the six sages, the Sage of Tyre, came to visit him, and the destiny of the sword was made crystal clear. restraining the demon king will eventually be undone. When that happens, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. We must help. Lend him your power. He will need the Zora's control over water. The course of the Zora's future is clear. It would be our honor to aid in defeating the demon king. I swear to you that, when the great evil returns, the Zora Sage of Water will awaken once more. The Zora people and their sage will fight alongside the swordsman. That is everything there is to share of the imprisoned war and of the destiny of the Zora. Zora's domain is once again safe, thanks to you. However, the Demon King continues to threaten all of Hyrule. Sidon, my cherished king, you must take up my secret stone and honor the vow I made to the Sage of Time. Fight alongside the swordsman, me. I'll do all I can, just as my ancestor did. I 
fingers to put rings on. Well, that was the Temple of Time. I mean the Temple of Water. Temple of Time. No, that was the Temple of uh, Water, or the Water Temple, whatever. And that boss was a pain in the butt. Welcome back. Link, have you seen? The sludge has vanished without a trace. Link, thanks to your courage, the inhabitants of Do Zora's domain are safe once again. No words could express the depths of my gratitude. Thank you, Hero, from the bottom of my heart. I thank you. Yeah, man, no problem. Let's hear you, Sidon. Though Link certainly played a key role, your own efforts to save the domain were nothing short of magnificent. I've always believed in you, Sidon. Now you have unequivocally proven your worthiness to bear the crown. This is why I shall joyously take this opportunity to pass the throne to you. Father, this is so sudden. No, it only seems that way. In truth, it has been heavy on my mind for some time. Sight on my son. It is time to ascend the throne as a new king. Take Yana's hand and as one, lead Zora's domain to a brighter tomorrow. Me? The king? Thank you, Father. I will not let you down, I swear it. That's the spirit, my boy. Now accept your place upon the throne. The finest swordsman in all of Hyrule shall bear witness to this momentous occasion. Is that me?
Silence, everyone. I hereby inherit this crown from my father, the exalted Dorfan. From the moment on, from this moment on, I shall be king of the Zora. At the same precious moment, I ask that you also open your hearts to your new queen, my beloved Yona. The sludge threatens us no more. We are once again free to swim through the crystal waters beneath azure skies without fear. We could not have achieved this without our dear King Sidon, our heroic Sir Link, and all of us who call this domain home. I'm so proud and so very grateful to count myself among the Zora of the domain. However, this does not mean that all the matters have been resolved. Right you are, my love. So as long as darkness lurks in the depths of Hyrule, the peace we have fought so hard for could vanish like a bubble on a needle. We shall not allow that. It is time, it is now time for the Zora to help Link prevail. Everyone, I ask that you lend him your strength. Doing just that shall be the first test that I and my partner in life and leadership shall undertake as your king and queen. First things first, my friend, regarding the whereabouts of Princess Zelda. When I obtained the secret stone, we saw a vision of that woman, the Sage of Time. I'm certain it was far more than a passing resemblance. That was the Princess Zelda whom you and I know so well. As for the Princess Zelda who appeared in the domain and attacked father, could it be that the princess we saw in my ancestor's era and the one my father saw in this era are not one and the same? Hmm. Questions upon questions. It is painfully clear that we have no choice but to find the princess and ask her directly. Link, as I have just ascended the throne, I must offer my sincerest apologies for being unable to accompany you. Still, I shall continue gathering information about our lost princess Zelda. Please promise that you shall once again grace our fair Zora's domain with your presence sooner rather than later. Whatever comes to pass, know that you and I will always be connected by the power of sage, no less. Okay, thanks. Alright. Zora's domain is complete. Up next, I have to go to... Oh, here's a side quest. In summation, and to repeat myself, as an attendant of Queen Yona, it is paramount to demonstrate more self-awareness. At all times and in every circumstance, you must behave in a way that is in no danger, reflecting poorly. Yes, yes. I'm ever reflecting on that, indeed. Your words ring true. Hmm? Ah, Sir Link. Oh, Sir Link, wherever are my manners? I was not quick to notice you had grace just with your presence. I'm terribly sorry. Perhaps it is because you are so absorbed in lecturing me. Honestly, and the reason for that is your lack of progress in the task you have entrust been entrusted with. The Zora Helm we are to present Sir Link seems to be stored in a skyfish. Queen Yona kindly provided you with that helpful information, yet you have done nothing with it. Yes, yes, that is so. I desperately searched the river for the fish that ate the Zora Helm, but I returned empty-handed. Pure silliness, it was unlikely that the Zora Helm was placed in an actual fish's stomach. I suspect you should be thinking of the sky fish as a metaphor, leading to the place where the helm is hidden. You never listen closely to my guidance, which often results in these ridiculous, whatever she said, Help me, Sir Link. What did she say? Ridiculous misunderstandings. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. We have a lot of side quests to do eventually, but right now it is time for the main quest, which will be 
I believe going to um I didn't like that one bit, um, which I believe will be going to, uh, I don't know, oh, looks like we have to go all the way here, so we've got a long way to go for that, so obviously we're not going to do that today, but I am going to end this here because I'm worried that my power is about to go out. So thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!